Hi, my name is Ryan Olinick. I'm a graduate student at Boise State University taking the Master's of Educational program. I'm currently enrolled in a course called EdTech 533 YouTube for Educators. This course is designed to help us learn about YouTube and its effects in the classroom. This vlog that I'm doing right now is going to be on the pros and cons of YouTube. I will start in this vlog with some pros of YouTube. I'll then talk about some cons of YouTube. And then I will try to give a commentary about whether I believe it should be or should not be allowed in the classroom. So we'll start with the pros. The first pro is it helps teachers design amazing lesson plans. With the use of our knowledge and with the use of these videos, we can create, we can create amazing playlists that deal with the cognitive, the effective, and the psychomotor domains of Bloom's taxonomy. We can help students be excited about the class with these use of videos. The second pro is it is a great resource for teachers and students. For teachers, we many times cannot find the information we're looking for to get to the students. With YouTube, there are countless videos on almost every subject that will allow us uh, to find any content area that we're looking for and be able to find that information to give to students. For students, it is an amazing resource as well. How many times has a student been sitting there with his hand up waiting for the teacher to get there because he can't understand software? Well, with the YouTube tutorials, all you have to do is go to a tutorial, find it, and the, and the student can start work right, right away. The third pro that I would like to talk about is the engagement for students. They love video. They love to be engaged, and they love classes that allow us to allow us to use computers and to be able to use these videos to create great lessons. It's up to the students, uh, sorry, the teacher to control uh, the learning activity, but the students will usually benefit much more with the engagement that they get from YouTube. The next positive or pro for YouTube is the fact that it is free. Schools um, are always looking for ways to bring in new technologies, but it's expensive. YouTube doesn't cost them anything. The next one is, the next positive is that it can be done, uh, used anywhere, anytime. The kids could be on a holiday. They could be at home doing homework. They could actually be out with their friends at McDonald's in a free hotspot or free Wi-Fi zone and work on their assignments there. And finally, the, the last one that I'm going to talk about as a positive is the amazing ability to collaborate, that stu stu students have the amazing ability to collaborate with the use of YouTube. It is so easy to share. They can work on these videos together. They can learn together. And it find that the learning increases um, very much with, with the use of this YouTube. Some of the cons of YouTube are, the first one is, I think the most important one, is a distraction from learning. Students tend to, when they get bored or when they're not 100% in, in enthralled with the class, they get distracted. And when you have YouTube in front of you, it's probably a pretty easy distraction. Sometimes they will watch um, sports highlights or music videos or go to a, I teach high school, so they'll go to the auto trader and try to find a car. Things like that that really are distracting from their learning. We as educators have to control that classroom and we have to make sure that the students know about these, um, these disadvantages or distractions. But also in the same instance, students have to learn on their own and it's a good learning process as well. The next disadvantage is the countless numbers of advertisements that are, that are on the videos. For the most part, the video or the advertisements are, can be an issue that is easily corrected. If we're doing a, a, a video in front of the whole class, it's simply just stream it from where the, where the actual video starts and not from where the, ad, ad, the um, advertisement starts. But if we can't do that, so what? So they watch a little advertisement. I don't think, uh, hopefully, we as educators have looked at it first and, and not, it's not an advertisement for something that shouldn't be done um, in the real world. Okay, the next one is because YouTube is free, anyone can go on it. And it's so easy to use that anyone can go on it, which sounds like these are positives, but it can be a negative as well. 
because of all the inaccurate information that is put on YouTube. Anyone in the world can make a video about anything they want and half, many times it is, it is not accurate. And it's up to us as teachers to teach these students what would be accurate, what wouldn't be accurate, and how to look for things that aren't accurate. The next disadvantage of YouTube, con of YouTube, is many times there's inappropriate material. We, they, could, they can go on any site at any time pretty well and find things that shouldn't be there. And, you know, in a school setting especially, it's, it's not always a great thing to have students go to places um, on the Internet that really are inappropriate. You know, porno pornography sites and, and things like that, make, how to make a bomb, stuff like that. But if we can control the classroom and we can give them good playlists and keep them busy, for the most part, I don't think this should be an issue at all. What they do at home is another, is another story. And finally, the last disadvantage I'd like to talk about is the problem with bandwidth or our networks. At my, at my school, we are quite fortunate that we don't have any bandwidth or network problems or very little of them. But it has happened where the network is down for the entire day. And when that happens, all those lesson plans you created for the students on YouTube are gone. You know, it, it is what it is. It happens. We, we have to adjust as teachers, and, we, and, and just because it's a new technology, we're still going to have to do that. So probably from my, my, my comments so far on the pros and the cons, you can probably tell that I think YouTube is a great idea in the classroom. Yes, there will be times that students will not be on task. They'll be at the wrong place, um, or, or the wrong site. But we as teachers have to control the setting to make it safe and secure for them. By creating strong lessons, by creating great lesson plans and using proper videos and giving them um, a, a great learning atmosphere, I think that YouTube is definitely, definitely, definitely um, here to stay and is great for the classroom. Thank you.